hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux which is version 2022.3 on vmware workstation now for those who don't know vmware vmware is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer first we have to download and install vmware and to do that open your google chrome browser and then let's search for vmware so you can see the drop down over here workstation player so click on workstation player and then you can see download for free this is vmware workstation player so let's click on download now once you click on download it's going to take you to this page where you select the version so you go with the latest version which is version 16.0 and then you can see the release date which is july 21st 2022 so let's go to download over here and then you can see over here vmware 16.2.4 for 64 bits and this is for windows based pc and this is for linux so we are going with the one for windows you can also see the size which is 584 megabytes so let's download while it is downloading we also need the kali linux file that we are going to use for this installation so search for kali linux and then you can see the first page over here kali linux penetration testing so click on it now click on download button over here and it will take you to this page where you can select the machine you're on so you can see over here we want kali linux for a virtual machine so you click on virtual machine over here and it is going to take you down here and this is where you're going to see the machine we are installing to so you can run kali linux on virtual box which i made a video on earlier and you can also run on vmware which we are going to use for this test now we are going with the vmware 64 bits as you can see the vmware we are downloading is for 64 bits you can see windows 64 bits so we are going to download kali linux for 64 bit as well so you click on and it would start downloading now i already have this downloaded so i don't need to download again so i will just cancel that okay guys so you can see vmware has been successfully downloaded so let's install now click on next accept the terms next 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 and then install now this will take some time so you just have to wait patiently so guys vmware has been successfully installed you can see our vmware workstation 16 so let's finish so now you can see vmware workstation on my pc and i can open this program to start okay so we are using the free version you can see use vmware workstation 16 player for free for non-commercial use so let's continue finish now guys our vmware has been successfully installed now we have to locate the kali linux file we downloaded so let's open up our file explorer and this is the kali linux file you can see over here kali linux 2022.3 vmware amd64 so let's extract that so you can see it has been successfully extracted now this is actually pre-built so we don't need to create any virtual machine instead we are going to open a virtual machine so click on open a virtual machine and then locate the folder we just extracted so let's go to download and then you can see the folder over here kali linux 2022.3 so you just have to locate the same way it appears on yours and then you will see just one file here now if you open the file on your file explorer you can see there are lots of vmdk files here but it would locate on one vmdk file and that's the file it's going to use for installation so you can see kali linux amd over here you can see vmware virtual machine configuration so let's close this and then you can see it has been selected so let's click on open so we've successfully added kali linux 2022.3 to our vmware now let's click on play virtual machine and you can see our machine is up So you can see Kali Linux has been successfully added and installed on our VMware. Now the default username and password is Kali. And then let's log in. So you can see guys, Kali Linux has been successfully installed on our VMware. Now I made a video on how to change the default username and password for Kali Linux. So you can check the link in the description and that may be helpful. If you watched this video till this moment and this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.